Works really well, you ready? But if you close your eyes Morning! We're moving again! Hey kids, we're back on the road! Hi. Morning! Morning! How many hours have we got to go today, Raph? Good! Four! Not too far! So we figured out where we're going, or at least maybe how to say it. Cape Corraldron. It's a nice place. It's a nice place. We're hopefully going to be on the beach, um, be able to do some snorkeling with the kids and just enjoy. So yes, stay tuned for the journey of today. Works really well, you ready? Does Moana appear? <laughs> Good girl. Uh, we went for a walk down onto the beach and we found the most amazing, amazing, amazing shells. Check these out, like as big as my head. They're beautiful. All sorts of, oh thank you Lola. All sorts of different little ones. Kind of whole bucket full. Have you got any clam jokes, Chad? No. <laughs> Are you all clammed up? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not me. So I thought along with the shells, I thought I'd share an important bit of information. Um, cone shells. Some of you will see them on the beach. Flat on the top, shaped like an ice cream cone. They are super dangerous. Now there's nothing in this one I checked. But they carry a little animal, a little snail called a cone snail. Very creative. Uh, most people pick them up, put them in their pockets. They've gone shell hunting on the beach. The snail comes out, bites them. They end up in ICU. So the rule of thumb with the kids when we're collecting shells is if it's a cone, leave it alone. And that gem of information was actually taught to us by Reef HQ in at Townsville. So moral, moral of the story, if it's a cone, leave it alone. Don't pick it up, don't touch it. I've only done that just to show the video. Um, but yeah, there's nothing inside this one, thank goodness. What do we got, kids? Bite. Rice. Rice. And satay. Mmm. Oh, is it good? <laughs> Yum. Chew it up. Mama Chef, 